Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic might hit close to home for our Canadian investors out there. We all know the feeling, you've been crushing your investment goals, your portfolios looking mighty fine, and then BAM. You need some of that hard-earned cash back. But here's the thing, a significant chunk of your portfolio is in USD. Maybe you inherited some American stocks, or perhaps you strategically diversified with US giants. Now you're wondering, can I withdraw USD from Wealthsimple, or am I stuck converting everything to Canadian dollars? Well, buckle up, because we're about to dive into the nitty-gritty of USD withdrawals on Wealthsimple. Now, Wealthsimple is a fantastic platform for Canadian investors, offering a user-friendly interface and a variety of investment options. But when it comes to USD withdrawals, things can get a little tricky. There's no one-size-fits-all answer, and it depends on a few key factors. So, let's break it down. First things first, the good news, yes, you can withdraw USD from Wealthsimple. However, you have a couple of options to consider, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Here's the breakdown. Option 1, Conversion to CAD. This is the most straightforward approach. You can simply convert your USD holdings to Canadian dollars and then withdraw them to your linked bank account. Wealthsimple doesn't charge any currency conversion fees, which is a plus. However, the current exchange rate might not be ideal and you might lose some value depending on the market fluctuations. Option 2. Direct USD Withdrawal for Self-Directed Investors This option is only available for those with self-directed investing accounts on Wealthsimple. If that's you, then you're in luck. You can directly withdraw your USD funds to a linked US dollar bank account. This way, you avoid any currency conversion hassles and keep your hard-earned USD exactly as it is. But there's a catch. Wealthsimple doesn't have its own banking system, so you'll need to have a US bank account set up to receive the funds. Important Considerations No matter which option you choose, there are a few things to keep in mind. Settlement periods. Remember, recently sold assets need to settle before you can withdraw them. This usually takes one business day. Minimum withdrawal amounts. While Wealthsimple doesn't explicitly state minimum withdrawal amounts, some banks might have their own thresholds. Tax implications. Depending on the type of account you have, registered versus non-registered, there might be tax implications when withdrawing funds. It's always best to consult with a tax advisor for specific guidance. The final verdict. So, which option is right for you? It really depends on your individual circumstances. Convenience is key? Go for the CAD conversion. It's the simplest route, but be mindful of the exchange rate. Want to avoid currency conversion? If you have a U.S. bank account and a self-directed investing account, the direct USD withdrawal might be the better choice. Ultimately, the best approach is to weigh the pros and cons of each option and choose the one that best suits your needs. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only and shouldn't be considered financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a financial professional before making any investment decisions. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy investing.